guys, it's Sarah, and today I have a book review for you, and that is going to be on Paper Girl. This is written by Cindy R. Wilson. This book was sent to me by Entangled Teen in order to do a review for it, so thank you very much, Entangled Teen. And this came out on December 4th, so it is available now. And this book was such a surprise and pretty much exactly what I needed. This is a young adult contemporary and it follows our two main characters, Zoe and Jackson, and it is a dual perspective. So it goes between both of them and you're getting both of their points of view. And it follows Zoe mainly as she is dealing with severe anxiety. She cannot leave her house without having panic attacks. So that's very much a trigger warning here. So if you, if that's something that you're sensitive to, this might not be a good one for you because it does go into detail about her panic attacks, but it is something that is keeping her from leaving her apartment. She lives at home with her family, her parents, and her older sister. And you also see how it affects the rest of her family as well, especially the sister and kind of their relationship together, but it's affecting everybody. And she is really to a point where she cannot leave her house at all. The problem with this is that her sister really wants her to go to her high school graduation and to, you know, be a part of that memory and a part of that. So she is trying to make a goal to where she is able to leave her house to go to her sister's graduation. That's kind of her overall goal. But how do you get there? She does see a therapist, which I loved the therapist in here. I thought that it was a great relationship between the two. And you see her working through everything with that. Where Jackson comes in is Jackson is actually hired as a tutor for Zoe because she's not doing so well in math and science for her homeschooling. So her parents hire Jackson to be a tutor for her because, you know, he needs the money. And you see them working together as well. The funny thing about that is though that Jackson is someone that Zoe has always had a crush on and unbeknownst to her, Jackson has also had a crush on her. So you're seeing them come together in this thing where they both have crushes on each other and it's super cute. Jackson is also dealing a lot with his home life. Him and his father have a very tumultuous relationship. His mother has passed away a few years ago, so she's no longer in the picture. And she was kind of the glue holding that family together. And now that she's gone, it's pretty much gone downhill. And you see what he has to deal with on a daily basis with that as well, which is very hard to read about. The things that he has to go through and the things that he's dealing with, especially just as a you know teenager. Uh, but it really adds a lot to his character. So I think that aspect of it was great. The other thing is that they have an unknown connection already because they both are part of this online chess community where they, you know, play each other online and it's all kind of anonymous and usernames and all that. But they have been playing each other for a while and they don't know because they have screen names and they haven't shared their real names with each other. They've had chats and they kind of started to get to know each other a little bit on there, but they don't know that they're playing each other. They don't know that it's them who is playing each other, but they're meeting and they like each other, but they don't know it's them. It's really cool. Sometimes that can be a little bit of a trope that, you know, I don't always enjoy, but in here, I really, really enjoyed that. And I thought it was great. And I think it added a lot to the story. And I just, I absolutely ended up loving this, you guys. It's not, um, you know, like some great piece of literary fiction, but it's just, it was an easy read. I flew through this in two days, easy, no problem. And I just really enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed everything that they were, you know, having to go through and how they handled everything. I thought that the family relationships were strong and very supportive. And I loved the dynamics between Zoe and Jackson and how they interacted together. Even when they hit some hard spots, you know, and found out some things they weren't, you know, in support of each other. But I thought everything was handled very, very realistically, which I appreciate, you know, nothing was over dramatized. And I just I really enjoyed it. I ate it up. And I did not want to put it down. I just I really enjoyed the story. I thought it was a really, really great story. I also think this would be a great book if you find yourself in a reading slump that I think this could help pick you back up from out of that because it's just going to be something that you can read and you can enjoy and it's, you know, just great 
for what it is. And I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm really happy that Entangled Teen sent this to me and I was able to read it and review it. It was just absolutely perfect. And I definitely recommend it for sure. And I ended up giving this one four stars. So if you guys want to get a copy for yourselves, it is available now. So I will leave the Amazon link down below if you guys want to go and check it out. But I definitely highly recommend it. And it was just fantastic. I really enjoyed it a lot. And I'm definitely gonna be looking for more titles from this author in the future. All right, that's going to be it for me today. Let me know down below if you guys have any questions. I hope you guys pick up a copy for yourselves and I will see you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.